Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio, and today we're gonna to be doing a quick customization inside of Dynamics 365. So what I'm gonna be doing today is adding a field to the account entity. We'll add a referred by field. So the first thing we need to do is go to the back end of the system, settings, customizations, and then customize the system. Remember, if you're using a solution, you'll wanna go into the solution and make the change there. So once I choose customize a system, I'm going to select the entity to which I wanna add the field. So we'll select the account, expand it on the left-hand side, and then select account, and then fields. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on new, and we'll give the field a name. So I'm gonna put the field name in here as referred by, and we'll leave it as optional, and then choose the data type. So for this kind of field referred by, I'm gonna actually do a lookup. So we're gonna look up into the contact entity. So I want to be able to select a different contact from the system and populate that in the referred by field. So we're gonna save, or save and close, and then what we'll wanna do is publish the change. and then publish all customizations. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is adding the field to a form. And you can do that from the back end of the system or from the front end. I like to go to the front end so I can see it as I'm making the change. There's really no wrong way to add the field to the form itself. So in order to add it via the front end, I'm just going to select an account. We'll go to Alpine Ski House. So any example record, you're really adding the field to all um, records inside the account entity, but we're choosing an example to look at the form. So I'm on Alpine Ski House. As long as you have the rights, you can actually modify the form by clicking on form. And then you can use the field explorer on the right hand side of the screen to find the field that you just added. So we added refer by, you can see it here. And I can simply drag and drop that field wherever I want it. So we'll just put it underneath the account name. You wanna make sure you see that red line um, when you're inserting the field. So we're gonna actually save this and then we're gonna publish it again. So you won't see the changes applied or you won't see your field until you publish it. So once it finishes publishing the customization, we can take a look at what we've done. Okay, so I'm just going to refresh my screen and the new field should appear underneath the account name. And there we have it, referred by, it's a lookup. So as you can see, there's a little magnifying glass there. It's looking up into the contacts in the system, and then you can select the value or start typing it in to set the field. Thanks for joining me. Join me next time with more CRM tips and tricks.